Hello YouTube, Jeremy Martin 72 here and I am I just had a request to show the difference between Android applications and Chrome OS applications and there's more than just applications for Chrome OS it's also called extensions as well um, if you pull up your application tray You'll see that I'm gonna I'm gonna work with um, Google Keep here. We'll pull up the app, application tray, and as you can see, <clears throat> we have Google Keep here as an app, but this one is Chrome OS because I've already downloaded the Google Play Android version all right so for chrome extensions it's going to have this little um this little white chrome symbol on it to be able to tell the difference between each so let's open up the android version and i'm not going to mess with dark theme here all right and it's got a it's got a uh, note on there that I did during work. It was working when I left, and I'll have to blah, blah, reopen another work order. All right. We're going to open up our tray again, and we're going to open up Google the Google Keep, the Chrome OS version here. All right, and that, too, opens up individually. And I'm not going to turn on dark theme as well. Same, same note that's inside of it. All right. Let's do, I'm going to drop those down. So we got both of them in our tray down there. One of them is Android, which is the circular one. And the other one is for Chrome OS, which has the little Chrome symbol on it. So we're going to open up Chrome here. And we're going to go to the Chrome <clears throat> Google Store, and we're going to pull up Google Keep. And there it is right there, Google Keep Chrome extension, right? I'm going to show you how many different kinds of Google Keep you can get here. Add it to Chrome. And it will install into your Chrome OS browser. And there it goes. It says Google, Google Chrome Keep extension has been added to Chrome. I know this, is, this seems very confusing to some people, but there's a reason why there's so many. And see how it just opens up the, uh, it opens up this one right here. It opens up the one right here. My Pixelbook came with the Google Keep already pre-installed into it. So when I went to the actual Chrome store and I downloaded this, it merely just put the, um, put that little avatar up in the top corner. Now, if you go up here and you, we're gonna to touch these three uh, dots. Just just follow me here. It's, it's not as difficult as it looks. All right, we'll go to more tools, and we're gonna go down to extensions. All right, and this is all the extensions that you have uh, connected <clears throat> to your Chrome OS. All right, so we already have one right here. Google Keep Chrome extension. All right, and then we're going to drag down, and these are Chrome applications. And I have a Google Keep notes and list, and it's all still the same thing, the same exact thing. This one is the one that I just downloaded, right? And what it does when I download it from the Chrome, it puts a little avatar up in the corner, and then it uh, 
opens this that's already in there. This one right here, Google Keep Notes, is the same thing as this right here. They're all the same thing. And now the only difference between this and the Android version is that the Android was written to be able to work with touch. You know, they were made to work on phones, right? Phones and tablets. In order for it to work on phones and tablets, it has to be able to work on touch. While these, and now you got to keep in mind that when this when this started happening, this separate, this somewhat seeming separation happened, this was back about 2017, 2018, when Google started making Chromebooks that were convertible. You could flip them completely over and turn it from a laptop into a tablet, which means that you no longer have the keyboard, so everything has to be touch. So if you got your Chromebook in tablet mode, you actually got to open up a virtual keyboard in it and touch all the buttons on the screen to be able to type into it, right? And when they first came out, didn't work very well with the Chrome OS um, applications, right? It's one of the reasons why when they switched over to touchscreen, it was very important for them to also have Android applications available because it would make the, the transition or the addition, depending on what kind of uh, system you got, of touchscreen a little bit easier to handle. The only problem is, is that People see this stuff and they they get confused. The thing is, in reality, these are all the same thing. They all open up the same exact thing. All right, let me show you. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go search notes. Oh, no, sorry. Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and add one. I'm going to see. Uh, we're going to call this. This is in the Android. Uh, version, the one that comes straight from Play, uh, the Google Play Store, test keep. And these apps should all work in sync through your Google Drive connected to your logged in Google account. And I'm going to pin it. Right. Okay, there you go. Test key. Now, give it a little second so that it can sync. I hope I got this thing set up to sync. Let me double check and make sure I got it to sync. Let's go to settings. Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to hit dark theme on this. Do, do, do. Enable sharing. That's good to know. Uh, 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 uh. As far as I know, this thing should be automatically synced since I pulled it out of uh, Google Play anyway. So I'm going to minus that down there. And just because I hit... um. Hey, well, what do you know? Okay, so did I, I closed the Google Play app for this, and then I switched over to the Chrome OS app here. All right, so uh, I, I, on the Google Play app, I turned the dark mode on, but it didn't happen on this one right here, right? So uh, it's, it's all about um, Google wanting to keep the maximum amount of customization options available. But as you can see, look at that. It's right there. Trust key. These apps should all work in sync through the Google Drive connected to your logged in Google account. Okay. So we're going to minimize that. Now, if I want to remove the Chrome OS, I can remove this one right here. I'll, I can remove also this one right here. And then I would have to go into this tray and I would have to remove this one and this one. Now this one, if, if you remove those two in the, uh, on the page I was just showing you, this one should disappear. All right. 
This one, you will then have to long press on it and get rid of it. And then you will no longer have the Google, any of the Google Keep applications on your device here, but you would still always have Google Keep in your account because you can, everything is based on the web with Google. So type in keep.google.com. And it will open up the web version, the web page of the applications that we have. And they're still all the same. These are still all the same. And also, um, just to show you something quick here, you know, the, uh, that's the one. Uh, by the way, this one right here is the one that you can't get rid of. <laughs> all right. So you open up uh, Google.com and it, and it pulls up and you see this. this the stack of circles right here or dots you go up there and you click on it right those are your google apps all right and you drag up on it and it says more you click on more and, hey look at that you got another google keep app right there right so let's right click on it and see what we got here open link a new tab open with keep notes right the, even though it's still keep notes i can open it up with uh and it's the circular one too so i'm probably going to open up in android let's find out which one it opens in mm -mm, yep it opened up in the android one and you know what they're still all the same other than local settings like dark mode or light mode it really doesn't matter other than other than the local settings and the fact that um, the Android one the one from Google Play is optimized for touch but remember when these when this started happening this was back in 2017 and 18 they have had time to update Chrome OS to be able to work with touch so this I got a touch screen on it, and I am using, here, I, I'll use, I'm going to touch on take a note, and the title, and I'm going to I'm gonna touch and type, touch and type, touch and type, all right, and I'm going to pin that, and I'm going to tap on the side of it so it goes right to it. And I uh, don't know if you if you notice that uh, there, there was a little cloud. You see it up here. It's spinning. That's that's how you do it, right? I'm gonna sit there and touch on it, and it's gonna go right up to the cloud. And when it shows you that check mark, it's gonna be in every one of them. Let's close that out. We're gonna go over to the Google Keep. I'm I'm touching the screen with my finger here. Look, I didn't even have to refresh the page. It already refreshed it for me. And now touch the type. And this is right on the Chrome browser showing up. All right. So the difference between them are local differences, which are basically whether you want it to be dark mode on your laptop, but you might want it to be light mode on your tablet, and you might want it to be dark mode on your phone, right? I could pull my phone out right now or my tablet out right now and pull up Google Keep. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pull out my phone right now, and I'm going to type in, in the Google Keep, I got the, the same Android app, the circular one, on my Google Pixel 4 XL. All right. Testing from the phone. All right. Test. And I'm going to pin it. Oh, well, it would help if I turned my phone's Wi-Fi and data on. <laughs> All right, here, let me let me refresh that again. Just just hang with me here. I mean, I can understand how people are getting frustrated or a little bit confused. Look at that. It just showed right up, right there. Testing from the phone. That's straight through the cloud. All right, I'm going to minimize that. And it's already uh, upgraded itself to the actual web page. 
testing from the phone. All right, now let's go down to the Chrome app. Testing from the phone. So basically, the only differences are are local differences. Like if you want to change from dark mode to light mode, and here lately now there that's the only difference between them. Now they all work straight off of touch. I'm sitting here touching the screen right here on the web page. This is the web page version. All right, whatever you want to do here. And pin it, touch on the side, it goes right into the system. You saw the cloud spinning. All right, let's see. I'm going to update my phone here. Yep, there it is. All that crazy stuff I typed. There it is right there. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, it's this might seem confusing to some people that, especially like if you're used to iOS or if you're used to Apple products, but to people like me who have been with Google since pretty much day one, since they uh, let loose their um, their search box, they call it their Omnibox now, you know, you would know that Google loves to maximize your options to customize whatever device you're using with. And also, you have to keep in mind some history here too. So when this when this whole confusion started is when Google was just starting to introduce convertible laptops, laptops that will convert into a tablet. And to, be, to run a tablet, you have to be able to touch the screen. My brothers and sisters, please be safe. It's not as hard as what it looks like, and you always have Google help. If I could find it here, <laughs> where is it? And you can always hit these buttons here, even more from Google, right? You could pull this up and you can find all kinds of stuff to help you out. And some of these come out of the Android store. Some of these are web extensions. Some of these are Chrome apps. And some of them are all three, like the Keep. Uh -uh. And you always have Google support. And all you have to do is, when you go to Google support, all you have to do is literally talk to it like you would a human being. You ask it a question, and it'll show up. And you can actually uh, use these buttons to help um, help your search. Brothers and sisters, Google is a very powerful system. Um, and be safe, and as always, be security aware, and Google on.